Hi, I'm Dr. Sahar Rokhead and I am the GP and hormone doctor at Omnia Clinic. I want to talk to you today about male and female hormones. So as women, we don't really think that much about our female hormones other than starting periods, fertility and menopause. But I'm here to tell you that your hormones affect you every single month and probably every single day to some extent. So they're really important to know about. So if you're having problems with mood, energy, focus, concentration, if you're having problems managing your weight, it could be in your female hormones. And lots of people say to me, well, can you do anything about that? I thought it was just like, take the pill or take HRT when you're in menopause. But there are loads of things we can do to balance our hormones. Let me give you some examples. If your estrogen isn't getting high enough mid-cycle, it can stop you from feeling like really good energy, it can affect your focus and concentration. You can sometimes feel more hot than usual. If your progesterone isn't getting high enough in, in the second half of the cycle, you can feel a bit more moody, energy can be low, sleep can be not so good. That can be one of the reasons why you get sort of that hormonal acne, which you can get around the chin area, or the skin can be a little bit greasy. So there are things we can do about this in our diet, in the way we exercise, in terms of taking supplements. So if oestrogen isn't quite where it should be mid-cycle, and of course this is one of the things I can measure with my patients so we know for sure, having more leafy greens, more salads, more broccoli in the first half of the cycle can really help balance oestrogen. And if we're not get, getting enough progesterone in the second half of the cycle, we can look at having more root vegetables, some carbohydrates. Yes, carbohydrates, I said that. So from what I know about hormones, I don't actually think it's good to follow a really strict diet every single day of the month. Because as women, our bodies need different things at different times of the month. So like I said, first two weeks is more sort of salads and greens. That's really good for estrogen and balancing that. Second half, you need some carbohydrates, maybe some more meat if that's what you eat, root vegetables, because that promotes progesterone production. So our body needs this. And we also need healthy fats as well to produce our hormones in that way. Doing really high intensive exercise throughout the whole cycle for a woman isn't always a good thing either. The reason for that is because our cortisol can be higher around our period. So doing high intensive exercise can push that up further. And then that leads to more inflammation. Your body feels under attack. What do you do when you feel under attack? You store fat. So that's one of the things we don't want. So I normally recommend doing your high intensive exercise after your period around ovulation, which is midway through the month, and maybe into a little bit of that second half of the cycle and then going for the more strength, walking, Pilates, yoga to balance that out. Now, men have cycles too. The woman's cycle that I've described is called the infradian cycle. It follows the infradian rhythm of our natural hormone cycle. But men, they go on the 24-hour circadian rhythm. Us women are expected to fit in with that, even though we've got a different cycle. But yeah, for men, generally your energy should be really high in the morning. That's when testosterone and cortisol are at the peak. And then it reduces over the day and it's kind of low by 5 p.m. So if you know that, you can look to do more of your exercise in the morning, your meetings, anything that requires a lot of brain power. And then towards the afternoon, do more writing things up, more planning, not doing intensive exercise. And then 5 p.m., that's normally why that's when our working day ends. That's the time to kind of call it a day and that's more relaxation and being social. I have an online course called More Energy, Less Stress, Manage Your Weight that goes into this in a lot more detail and goes in for women, the sort of food you should be eating at different weeks of your cycle. It's relevant for women also taking the pill and HRT and it tells you how to manage that. And it also gives you guidance on what sort of exercise you should be doing. And there's also an energy tracker for men and women where you can write down how you're feeling in terms of mood and energy and focus and concentration over a day if you're a man or over the month if you're a woman. And then you can look to modify and make changes so that you can harness your energy and make things work for you you instead of feeling you're being pushed from pillar to post all the time and just chasing your tail because you're not quite sure how to manage your energy. So if you want more details on that, please click the link.